Welcome back to Climate Unboxed. Today we're going to take a theme already covered in a previous video a little bit further. We're going to look at functions. Now, we've already looked at how to combine two files together using functions such as add, sub, mole and divide. Now, in today's video, we want to take very similar functions, but now we want to apply them to a single file. So what we're going to do is we'll have functions such as add or subtract, but now we want to actually adapt them to be able to add a constant or subtract a constant from a single field. So the abbreviation for constant used in CDO is the letter C. So now our functions are modified to say add C, sub C, mol C. But of course we need an argument to apply to this and so the argument comes after the C, we add a comma, and then we have the argument X, which is the constant. So let's look at an example, shall we? We might have a temperature field which has units of Kelvin, and we want to convert this to degree C. So the function in this case would be sub C, comma, and the argument, of course, is 273.15. And then we have the input file and the output file, which here we're calling tc.nc. So that's all very simple. Now, there is something we should be cautious about. Now, remember, NetCDF files are self-describing files. We have the metadata. So the warning is, warning, this does not change the metadata. It will still have units of Kelvin. Now, if you want to actually change those units, we will need a second command in CDO, set attribute comma, and then we can set t2m at units equals c. So t2m is the name of the variable in this case, and then at and then units is the standard CF compliant name for the units. And this will change the metadata to ensure it's correct. Now... Okay, so let's move on to another example. Now we want to convert rainfall from units of, for example, millimeters per hour to units of millimeters per day. So our input file in this case is a daily file, but with units of millimeters per hour, which I've just called precip hour.nc. And I'm multiplying that by 24 to give me units of millimeters per day. Now, now let's try and construct a slightly more complicated function. So in this case, I'm taking the example of enthalpy. The new function enthalpy, which I'm calling H, is made up of two input fields, temperature and the specific humidity. So the formula is just simply Cp, the heat capacity, a constant pressure times T, plus, and then LV, the latent heat of vaporization, multiplied by QV. So H equals CpT plus LQV. So we're going to have two input fields, T and Q, and we want to multiply them by a constant and then add those results together. We can break this up then into three steps. So our first step is to use our new function mol C to make the CPT. So we have CDO mol C comma 1005, which is the value of CP in joules per kilogram per Kelvin. And then I'm calling the output CPT for this first piece of the equation. Then we go likewise onto the second step and we have CDO mol C again with 2.5 uh, times 10 to the power of 6. And then we're multiplying our input Q2, which, which contains the specific humidity. And then we simply need to add these two fields together. So then we can use the final step CDO add, which adds the two input files together and then produces a file which I've called H.NC, which contains the moist enthalpy. And again, remember this will not have the correct metadata. Where will the metadata actually be taken from? It'll be taken from the first input field. So it will have units according to the units used in the temperature file. Moreover, not only are the units and the other metadata not set correctly, but even the name of the variable itself is unchanged. So in this case, the output file even though we're actually defining the moist enthalpy, the variable name will be the first variable name used in the input, which in this case will be the T2M, the temperature variable. So this is very nice, but it's also quite slow. The more complicated the function, 
the more separate commands we need to combine and very soon it can get extremely long-winded. So we can ask, is there another way? <laughs> well, yes, there is. And it's called the expression function. Now, in order to apply the expression function, now we're going to need an input file which contains both of the fields in question, temperature and specific humidity. If you're downloading directly from the CDS, you can request the retrieval to have both of those fields in the same file. But if you have those fields already in separate files, you can very quickly and easily combine them using a CDO command called merge. So it's CDO merge and then the input file names and then an output file name which I've called t2q2.nc. So the expression function is very simple and it has the following form. CDO expression comma x equals formula inside quote marks. Now you can see that x is the name of the new function in the output file so you can give it any name you wish which is a strong advantage of this expression function. So let's examine the simple example of our moist enthalpy variable. So in this case, we will have CDO expression, comma, and then in quotes is our new function. And we can simply write, for example, H or H2 in this case equals 1005 times T2M plus 2.5E6 times QV. So T2M is the name of our temperature field in the input file and QV is the name of our specific humidity file input output. So now the output file will contain one field called H2 in this case, which is our moist enthalpy variable. And we only need to set the units and also if you wish the, the long name and other metadata using the CDO set attribute command I showed you earlier. Now there's a similar sister command to expression which allows you to also retain the input fields in the output file, if you wish. Remember, expression in its own produces a file that only has the new function, but if you wish to add it instead to the existing input fields, you can instead use this A expression, where the A here is adding a new variable to the file, so the output file will have both the input fields and also the new function. So I've shown you expression using basic functions such as addition and subtraction, but in fact, there is a whole host of other supported functions in expression, some of which I've listed here. Okay, let's uh, look at an example or two, shall we? So the first example is going to be to change the units of temperature. Now in my directory here, I've got three files and one file is called t2m.nc. And if we use nc dump to look at the header for this and I'll scroll up and we see we have the t2m, the temperature with units of Kelvin. I open with nc view. That's our temperature file with units of Kelvin at the top. So if you recall, if we want to change the units to degree C, it's extremely simple. We just need CDO sub C and then 273.15 T2M and then we'll say T2M C. And what we see is I forgot to change it from a short to a float. So what we need is minus B and then F32 and it's worked. So now we have a file which is actually twice as large because I've converted it from a packed short to a float. And now if we open it, NC view, T2M underscore C, if I run my cursor over, you'll see in the window here, we have values in the order of 27, 28 in the tropics, but the units haven't changed. So if we look at the units here, we still have Kelvin. So we need to change these with CDO set attributes, comma, and then we have T2M, which is the name of the variable, at units equals, and I might put degrees C, 
Let's put this inside quotes. And we have T2M and call C, and then I'm going to call it units. And now if we open the file, we've changed the units in the file to degrees C to make them correct. So that was extremely easy, wasn't it? The second example I want to show you is using this field here. We'll see has three variables inside, in fact. We have Q, which is the specific humidity. And there's also T, which is the temperature. And this is now on pressure levels. And I've retrieved this for just one level, which is at 1000 hectopascals. So in this case, I want to make a new enthalpy variable. And I can do this by saying CDO. And then I want the expression function. And I'm going to say that the enthalpy is 1005 times T2M plus 2.5E6 times Q. And I've just remembered that temperature and pressure levels is actually just called T. And this file name I've already forgotten was called T underscore B. And then we'll just call it enthalpy.nc. So it's process the variables. Now if I do nc dump minus h and the enthalpy, we have just one variable in the file, which is called h, which is the name I gave to the file, which is a function of time, latitude, and longitude. Now you will see immediately that we don't have any other attributes. So we want to set these again using set attribute and we can say h at and so if i want to give it the full name i might say equals m copy and then the be name now if i do minus h already there's a new added attribute called name enthalpy and so we want to add the other attributes of units maybe a long name and so on and so forth for this new variable and let's just take a quick look at that new file shall we so let's open it up with nc view and here we have it our new file containing enthalpy at 1000 hectopascals well, I hope that video functions for you and you're able to express yourself using CDO. And I look forward to seeing you again soon on another episode of Climate Unboxed.